So guys, like I've said in so many of my videos, security is a huge thing nowadays, obviously, whether that's your home, studio, workplace, business, anywhere. Security is a major, a major part of how we live nowadays, whether that be cameras, sensors, or security alarms, detectors, you name it. So I enjoy doing videos about security cameras because they are important. There's something we need and there's something we're always going to need. So it was nice that a company would kindly send over one of their cameras. And this is the battery security camera. And this is actually an outdoor camera. So this one is going to be good. So guys, this is what we are taking a look at. So this is the battery powered security camera and a few things going on here. So we have HD, rechargeable, we have PIR, audio, night vision, and also IP65 waterproof, which is a great thing to see. So why don't we just get this a box and see what we're working with. So guys, this is what we get in the box. So we get a user manual. So this is just a little thing telling you that it's wire-free, rechargeable security battery. Uh, so this is a wire-free, rechargeable security battery camera. So it basically means that you charge this up um, and then you don't need any cables when you're actually using it. It's also great to see. So all you'll have to do is when this needs charging, it is popping out, uh, recharge it, and pop it back to where you're using it, which is great to see. I haven't actually reviewed a camera that actually has the ability to do that. We also get a very small hardened mount wear as well. So this is just a simple metal three-point harness, which is going to go anywhere that you want it. And then you have your thread on the side here, which is fully adjustable, and also a rubber grommet um, to, stop, to stop anything damaging the side of the camera, which is nice to see. We also get a cable. This is a micro USB cable. So this is pretty much just going to be for charging device, which is nice to see. As soon as your device is charged, you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. And then the only time you have to touch the camera is when you want to take it down to actually charge it. Now, they also do provide the mountain hardware, which is three screws and three mountain plugs, which is also nice to see. And we also get a little pin. So this roughly looks like what you would get with a phone for a SIM card tool, which is also nice to see. And the reason they give you that is if we look on the back here, we have a few ports going on. So we do have the on off switch. Uh, micro usb port which is going to be for charging and we also do have an sd card reader so if you want to put an sd card in there just in case you want to save your audio or your images you can do and then there's a few other things so we have a, a little point there which is for an led indicator and then we also have a reset button in the bottom left hand corner and that is what that tool is going to be used for so all in all it does look like a very nice camera if i just pop this on the mountain hardware and that really was simple. So the great thing about this mountain hardware that the little bracket on the side does allow you to have a full range of movement, 360 degree one way and even pan and tilt, which is also nice to see. So you know fine well, no matter where you put this, it's definitely going to catch anything you need. So a little bit about the front here. So the entire casing is white plastic. We do have a large uh, lens going on there. And also I believe that's the sensor with a microphone, which is also nice to see. So tell you what we're going to do is I'm going to actually jump into actually connecting this to my uh, phone and we're going to go from there and actually see what it looks like actually recording or being used as a camera. So let's do that now. So the first thing we need to do is inside the manual, you'll see uh, two QR codes, one for iOS and one for Android. So I am going to scan the Android one, click on the app link, and this is going to send me over to where I need to download it. And as you see, it's called Cloud Edge. I'm going to click on install, get this already up and done, and then we're going to go from there. So now that's downloaded, I can click on open, allow it to that, and then what it probably should do is ask us to create an account. So I'm just going to quickly create an account now. So there we go. I have created an account, and what I need to do from here is actually add the device. So first of all, what we need to do is actually click on add device. And if I grab the camera, what we need to do is actually turn the device on. So hopefully this should have some power. So what I've actually done is I've plugged in the charger just so we can actually get this charged up to actually see if it's going to work. So from here, I'm just going to press the power button, see if it turns on. Normally with these cameras, they do make a noise when you actually do turn them on. So we shall see. Oh, and there we go. So the camera is now on. 
we can see a small LED above the camera there flashing away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on camera. So it's telling me the power on the device, or which I have. I'm going to click next. So it's now telling me to reset the camera with my little tool here. So I'm going to prep that in for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now the camera is resetting. So I'm going to give that about 30 seconds there. And there we go. So the camera is there now reset. And then what I'm going to do is I'm on the screen. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to allow it to use my location. So I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to click on my Wi-Fi. And then from here, I'm going to click on next. It's going to tell me that uh, it needs to be a 2.4 gigahertz network, which is understandable. I've clicked OK. I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to click on OK again. So it's telling me to remove the film, which I already have, and then scan the QR code with the camera. Oh, I heard a little sound there. So I'm going to click on next. And now it's going to attempt to actually connect to the camera. So it's going to find the device. It's going to connect it to its network, and then it's going to register the device with the app. So it should take around about two minutes. So as we can see, the camera is now connected. That was very quick. And as you can see in the top here, I've got the number and my device. So I'm going to quickly change the number for this because I don't want to be called that. So I'm going to nickname it uh, Studio because that's probably where it's going to live. Click on OK and then click on Done. And as we can see, it's been added. We have Studio at the bottom there. If I click on the Play button. Play button. Play button. So what it's going to do is now I just need to download any excess files that it needs to be updated, which we are doing now. So it is downloading the files. So as we can see, we now have the latest version. So I can go back now. So as we can see, we're now connected. You can actually see me now. So if I move the camera around a bit. So the camera is now actually connected to me. And as you can see in the top left-hand corner, we do have the date. We do have the time. Obviously, we need to adjust that as well. And it tells us exactly that. It tells us the bit rate, which is 71 kilobytes per second or 80 kilobytes per second. We have Wi-Fi, which is 84%. And then it even tells us the battery life. So if we need to physically change the battery life, we can do. So what else do we have? So I'm going to point that back at the camera so you can have fun looking at that. So as we can see, we have we can take a screenshot. Where as soon as I click that, the screenshot will be saved and it's right there. So if we see something funny or anything like that. And then we even have intercom. So if I want to physically talk to someone through the camera, like say if this is going to be used on your front doorstep and you want to talk to the mailman, you can simply press intercom. You can also press record and as you can see in the bottom right corner it's actually recording now and as soon as i stop that it will save and then i can play it back for however i want if you do have an sd card it will save automatically to the sd card so we also have motion detection so we have a few settings here so we have motion detection so if you want to be told when someone is near your property your studio etc we have a few things so we have detection sensitivity so we can turn that all the way down all the way up and then we have the alarm intervals. So do we want to be told uh, every two minutes, five minutes or 10 minutes or not at all? And then we also have the alert will be triggered only when a human motion is detected. So you can either set this to day or you can set it to night. So we also have an alert plan so we can add a time period. So if you're going to be out of office at certain times of the day or certain days of the week, we can also set that up, which is great. Now we also have history. So if we go from history, as it says, no SD card, which isn't an issue, I will install one eventually. We can go through a timeline to see what happened for the previous 24 hours. We can check the calendar to see what dates that we want to check. We have the alert, screenshots, record, and it'll even show us the album of stuff that we have record. As we can see, we have the picture here and everything going on. And we also have the cloud. So if you want to act cl activate cloud service, so instead of having this on an SD card, so if you have multiple businesses or multiple cameras, you can activate cloud service and you can actually go through that way and doing it. So if we head over to the top right hand corner where the settings start, we have a few things. So we have the device name, receive alert or notifications, whether you want to or not. We have device share information and even installation guides. So if you want to share this with someone like someone you work with, a party or anything like that, you can also do so. So you have device information that will tell you everything about the device. And then we have basic functions. So we have a network indicator and we even have speaker volume. If we want to set the volume to either being really low or really high, we can do so. And then we also have time setting. So we can change the time setting to a 12, 12 hour clock if that's what you want. You have screen flips. So depending which way you're actually going to install this, you have that. 
and then we also have night vision so if you're going to install this in a warehouse you can have this permanently on if you're going to install it elsewhere you can either have it off or even on automatic and then we have power management so the power management it will show the power supply mode so it's currently battery powered and remaining battery as you can see it's charging because that's what i'm doing i'm charging the battery right now so what we're going to do is head over to some specifications and we'll probably go from there so guys when it comes to the battery security camera outdoor which is a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi 1080p wireless home rechargeable outside door camera so this wireless outdoor security camera comes with a 5200 milliamp battery which can last for around about two or three months after a full charge now the security camera outdoor wireless wi-fi helps us to get rid of any cords of trouble perfect choice for monitoring your home office shop or even warehouse the wi-fi camera also comes with two-way audio as well which allows you to use your mobile phone to talk to the outside visitors giving you a safe and warm home or environment so the 1080p camera with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p shows every detail with a viewing angle of 140 degrees and a visible range of around 50 feet you will have installed or then again you can pay for cloud storage but as always you get the first seven days for free if you do want to go check one of these out for yourself if you head down the links in the description you can go check one out for yourself so there you have it guys so that was the camera that we've just looked at like i said when we went through the specifications there is a lot going for it and i've never really been a fan of battery powered cameras but now that i have the availability from the app to actually see how much battery it's actually got left it was really nice to see that i don't have to worry about it just all of a sudden dying on me the app will tell me when the battery is getting low how much charge i have the wi-fi connectivity and even the bit rate and even that alone was a great amount of features but there is so so much more so when it comes to the alerts and everything the playback i feel like whatever wherever i put this i'm going to be protected so i have to say it really is a great great camera it is a lot of weight behind it but then again they have put it in a quite a small little area and even the small things like the small stand, it's a generic thread size. So even if you don't want to use this and you want to use probably one of your own, that's perfectly all right. Like you can set this up pretty much anywhere you want. Like even if I have a, I have a base, basic stand here, which I used for my cameras. And even that, and even that just screws on right like that. So you don't have to use the one that it comes with, but I would recommend it because you do have that 360 degree and you also do have pan and tilt, which is a great thing. So it's going to allow you to connect it wherever you want and have full view of everything that's going on. So it is really nice to see. So in the end of the day, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate you sending over one of your cameras, but if you do want to go check one of these out for yourself or some of their other amazing cameras, head down the links in the description. There'll be a link there to their website so you can go check one out for yourself. But if you do get one and you do have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos.